hey, I want to buy an SUV for my family. You go to the, you know, you go to the Chevy dealer. You know, you, you're looking at the new Tahoe's. You're like, oh, all right, I see the Tahoe's. I see the Blazers, the Trail Blazers. You know, and you're like, okay, you know what? The Tahoe's, you know, a little bit better because I need a little bit more room, you know, for camping, whatever. You go to the beach with your family. All right, and then you see the different, you see the different versions. You know, you see the LS models, you see the LT models, you see the LTZ models. So when you're looking through, you know, uh, like the Carfax, you're looking through the info, just like the scriptures. When you, when you're reading through what the Lord's saying, then you're gonna help. Con uh, you're gonna be convinced, you know, because like the salesman, it's like the like the prophets, you know, just just they're just telling you about the car, you know. That's the same thing. We're just telling you about the Lord. All right, that's the same thing. We're just telling you, you know, okay, this is, this is, you know, we got this, the Lord's from Judah. Okay, our enemies are the Edomites, the heathens. You know, we got next. You know, this is our history. You know, there's 12 tribes, not just one tribe. The small hats are liars. You know, it's just facts. You know, we're just, just like we tell salesmen, hey, what's up with this car? How many horse cars do you have? All right, hey, you know, hey, uh, hey, Jennifer, this car has, you know, uh, 300 uh, horsepower. You know, it has this, it has the leather, it got the sunroof, it got the step, you know, it got the retractable seats, you know, it got the heating steering wheel. See, that's all we're doing, just, you know, giving you the facts about what it is, you know, that's it. And then uh, you, you know, you hear it, you know, and then you're going to be convinced, okay, like, you know what, yeah, I want the LT, or you know what, I want the LTZ, I'm not going to play no games, you know, go big or go home, baby. You know, I want I want the top model. You know, I want the leather. You know, I want the big engine. You know, oh yeah, I want you know the uh, the leather with the stitching. Oh yeah, you know, I'm ready to get bougie with it. See, so that because you're you're convinced like yeah, because you went through the facts. You know, because you didn't just see the car and say okay, but did you look it up like oh all right this car is cool. Oh you know what you know for you know seven more thousand shoot I can get the I can get the the leather I can get the stitching you know I can get the step you know I can get the hitch. You know, I want the cars with all the bells and whistles. Shoot, you know, if you can afford it, you know, because you're convinced like, yup, this is what I want. So that's why the prophets are out there just to lay it down. And then so that way you guys can be convinced. It's not to uh, be beg you like, oh, please believe in the Lord. It's, that's your choice, baby. You know, so that way you can be convinced on what decision you want to make. You know, you want to go to the left and follow Satan and Baphomet or you want to go to the right and follow the Lord. You know, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's your choice. So that's why you got to go through the facts. You know, do a little bit of research. See what the prophets are saying are true. That way you can be convinced. For what? So you can make your decision. Because there's no gray areas. Either you're going to be on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. There's no gray areas. All these Muslims and heathens that worship all this other stuff. Okay, they all belong to Satan. Okay, regardless. Because they're, if they're not of Yahweh Shai, they're of Satan. Satan got them facts whether they realize it or not you know because either you're on the left or you're on the right there's no gray areas see so it's just so you can be convinced that way you can make your decision when they make that when they make that chip mandatory all right that the digital id which is very soon very soon because the collapse of the american dollar bill is at our door ladies and gentlemen so you're gonna have to make a decision do i want to keep going with esau and his society take that chip and be a total perpetual slave or I'm rolling with the Lord, you know? I'm taking my chances. I'm rolling with the Lord, whether he saves me or not. See, because it's for you to be convinced. That way you can make your selection. Either you can go to the left with Esau and Satan, you know, in those, in those homos. Or you can go to the right with, you know, with the Lord and the righteous. See? Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 through 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. See, so if you have faith, the Lord, you are blessed, because the Lord gave that to you. Because, you know, uh, you know Tom, and uh, Tom and uh, you know Elizabeth, they can't just go to the store and say, you know what, uh, go to Costco and say, you know what, um, you know what, can I get a, uh, you know, you know, I want to get a. Uh, you know, I want to get some groceries, and you know what? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna buy, you know, I'm gonna buy Easy Up. You know, I'm gonna buy, you know, they have some clothes there at Costco. I'm gonna buy some jeans. Oh, uh, you know, 
And you know what? Oh, I'm not, you know what? Let's let's purchase a little bit of faith too. You know why not? You know I got you know I got uh, I got some overtime. I got a little bit more money this week. You know let's purchase some more faith. You can't, you can't buy it. See, because it's a gift from the Lord. So if you believe in the Lord, if you got this thing, consider yourself lucky. You're blessed, man. Because um, no, you know it's not given to the world. See, that's why the elect are special. Hmm. Because you can't, nobody can just go to the store and say, you know, like, oh, I, uh, you know, I like to buy, you know, f uh, whatever, you know, uh, five pounds of faith. <laughs> you can't, you know, it's it's a gift. It's not of yourselves. It is a gift of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. It's from up above. See, so that means that the Lord, His eyes are on you. Don't worry about if the Lord is if, if the uh, the majority of the world is against you. Don't worry about them. They're out of there. You know. Don't worry about them. You know. Today they're here. Tomorrow you're not going to see them no more. You know. Metaphorically speaking, because the wicked, the uh, the joy of the hypocrite is only but for a moment. They're out of here. They're on their last limb. You know. Esau's on the ropes. You know. He's on his rope. That's why he's making his last attempts. You know. Trying to say that we're the wicked now. You know, he's just make you know, in desperate times calls for desperate measures. You know? He's on his last breath. Not of works, lest any man should boast. See that? So like IUIC, they're boasting, they're selling, you know, they're wearing like, you know, gold and all that stuff, like, you know, like they're gods and you know, they're uh, selling everything that's not nailed down. Man, the Lord's gonna destroy them for that if they don't repent. You know, what happened to the Lord uh, when he was on the scene a little over two thousand years ago? All right, when the Israelites were uh, selling, remember that? He goes, hey, my, you made um, my father's house a house of merchandise? Man, he t he tossed that table, and that wasn't no little table. Like, you know, like you guys have like a little a little uh, a table, you know, in your backyard, you know? Nah, they were talking, that table was like a big old table, like the table like the Vikings had, you know, a long table, you know, a big old table. The Lord flipped the table over, and the Lord had like a whip, you know, like Indiana Jones. Yeah, and the Lord was whipping them. You know, the Lord was the Lord was actually, you know, beating them up. Yeah, the Lord lost it, you know? The Lord's all stirred. See, the Lord was, is not soft, you know? Just imagine, like, Shaquille O'Neal, you know? Just so you know, like, you know, because Judites, Judah, they're they're mighty. They're big. Just imagine if Shaquille, if Shaquille O'Neal was uh, standing right next to you, and he was, like, you know, he just wanted to rip your head off, and he was just mad as all hell. Excuse my Italian. You know, that's something like, oh, snap, you know, because a big old Judite standing right next to you, you know, yelling at you, ready to take your hair off. You're telling me that's not intimidating. Imagine the Lord, you know, he's all steer, you know, remember, he does not change. He has that ancient look still. The Lord hasn't changed like with the society, you know, he's not going to come back in skinny jeans in a suit, you know, with a latte, you know. No, the Lord's coming back still as that ancient, ancient God, you know, all steer. He, it's gonna be very scary, you know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a sight, you know. And that's not the, he's nothing to compare to, you know. Shaq, it's just to give you an example, because the Lord is he's a Judite, a so-called black man, and he's much taller than Shaq, you know. And the Lord is ripped, you know. The Lord, you know, not to be talking about the Lord like that at all, but just he's the Lord has muscles on top of muscles, it's facts, you know. Oh yeah, he's a he's an ultimate Judite. You know, he's a lion of the tribe of Judah, you know, the Lord and the, the men of the Lord are not no squares, you know, just like they taught you in these churches, you know, that the uh, that the prophets were like simps and all that, you know, they have like the prophets, they have like the sunroof haircuts, they have hair on the sides, but on the top, they have no hair, like a moonroof, like a sunroof, it's like what kind, what kind of crap is that, you know, but that's what, because that's how they want to depict like, oh, look at the Lord and the Lord's followers, the, the men of the Lord were weak, you know, like, nah. And the Lord is a warrior. You know, Abraham was a straight warrior. Look at Noah. Huh? He prophesied by himself for over 120 years. You know, build the ark, held it down by himself. See? You know, Abraham, you know, look at Isaac. Look what our forefather Jacob did to get our name Israel. He, he wrestled with an angel to the daybreak, straight MMA status. You know, grappling, jujitsu. You know, it wasn't like they were just, you know, uh, having an ar uh, arm wrestle. Nah, you know? They're going at it. See? You know? Look at King David. Hmm? Samson. The 37 mighty men. 
you know? King David, you know, took out 22,000 men, soldiers, you know, not, a, oh, I'm a potter, sir, you know? No, you know, the Lord, uh, King David took down 22,000 soldiers, you know, with armor, shields that know how to fight, train to fight and kill. King David took 22,000 men out by himself and came back without a scratch. You're saying the men of the Lord, the men of the Lord are squares? You better think again, you know? You got this game fucked up. Okay, excuse my Italian. You know, y'all must have forgot. Hmm? Y'all must have forgot. You know, Pops? You know, Pops ain't no square. You know? Our Heavenly Father, hey, he ain't no joke. You know, and his son definitely ain't no joke. Look at how big the whales are, the, la the lions. Okay, look at how big the ocean is. Huh? And you're telling me the Lord's gonna come back, you know, with some, with some uh, spaghetti arms? Like a square? You guys got it messed up, you know? You guys are in for a rude awakening, you know, uh, to your non-believers. All right, uh, let's go to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Uh-huh. Hebrew, in the Hebrew. Okay, so Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. I wish you to see here. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. See that? Because he hasn't changed. And that's what, uh, you know, the Lord's really, you know, trying to uh, reach out to you, uh, hopeful elect out there today. It's, you know, let you know, because you have to image that. You know, you have to imagine that. You know, because remember, just, just you know, to kind of get your, your minds rolling. Remember, like, that movie Troy, you know, like, remember Hector, uh, Achilles, and all that? Remember, those men were, were, they were mighty, you know, the Vikings, you know. Look at ancient war movies like Gladiator, you know. Just go back to the Romans, you know. Look at that, you know, they were mighty men with swords and, you know, straight warriors, you know, the Vikings, the Spartans, you know. Everything, the Greeks, you know, the Persians, you know, we're talking mighty men, you know. And, and the Lord is before them, you know, and the Lord is the ultimate warrior. And the Lord, he hasn't changed. It's just to show you, you know, you have to take out that image that the Lord is going to come back, you know, all fragile, you know. Just because people in this society have changed, you know, they got soft, you know, softer. You know, I'm not saying that they're not strong people out there, but look at how the, how the, the generation of the old have changed. You know, just look at from our grandparents to uh, the grandchildren right now. Look at how, look at how much they changed. You know, look at how much harder they had to work. Now look at the grandchildren right now, you know, straight on iPads, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, 13, 14 years old, you know, you know, don't don't know hardly anything about life, but they know how to turn on an Xbox and an iPad. You know, our grandparents, man, they already had jobs. 13 years old, they already had a family. You know, they already had they were already working, had their houses. They already had a couple of kids. 13 years old. Facts. Just to show you, you know, you know, not saying that they're not strong individuals, you know, but just look at the comparison. That's just a couple of generations. Okay, imagine going all the way back to the ancient world. The Lord is a mighty man. Just to, it's just to show you, just to uh, you can get the, you can get that image in your head that the Lord is not no square. Okay, he's a mighty, mighty, austere man. You know, his his voice alone, you know, is just by him speaking. You're like, oh snap, you know. You know, it ain't, I'm telling you, you know, he, this way you can understand, you know, the severity of our Lord. He hasn't changed. He's still that ancient, ancient God. He's still that ancient, ancient man. You know, he hasn't changed. Like society changed, you know, you know, how you have like the rockers, you have the skaters. Now you have, you know, people, they're just kind of like more, like more chill, you know, they have like office suits. They got skinny jeans now. See, the Lord, you, you think the Lord's coming back with skinny jeans, you know, and a latte? Shoot. Huh? So that's why uh, the Lord like, is really uh, trying to get you for you can image him, you know. You can have that image in your head because the Lord hasn't changed. He just told you that, you know, Hebrews 13 and 8. You know, so he is the same. He's that ancient, ancient warrior, that ancient man, that ancient God. He hasn't changed, ladies and gentlemen. So when he comes back with the angels, they're all steer, you know? They're rough. They're rough men, you know? 
this is just so you can you know get your brains going here okay malachi chapter 3 verse 6 all right pete this check this out all right let me get it uh, bear with me you know it's just to show you that the lord hasn't changed you know there's a lot you know you think okay the lord hasn't changed whoop de do he hasn't changed ladies and gentlemen he's an austere god you know he's rough remember like the ancient vikings and all them the lord's like that he's rough he's all about war you know you don't get he, the, you, you think the lord don't get the lord don't give a damn if you wash your hands or not you know the lord is rough of course you know cleanliness is godliness but remember the lord says just because somebody don't wash your hands that don't defile a man you know the lord is rough you know the lord is rough absolutely you know the lord says that the uh the words that come out of a man that defile the man you know see because some people they look at like construction workers and stuff like that and they're like oh look at this person's dirty you know but that don't mean that that person's not a man that don't mean that that person's not a good man you know see so that's what the lord you know is, is trying to say you know in fact because a lot of people in this world are like oh look at this person you know they're dirty you know they're you know they're building blocks but yeah that person's strong as hell you know they can build block walls you know straight frame carpenters strong the lord was a carpenter huh you tell me right now one carpenter a real carpenter that you know that is a straight square that is soft man you, you got to be strong to swing that hammer you know imagine back in the day they didn't have um they didn't have milwaukee they didn't have dewalt tools what battery devices they didn't have the saws all you know no they had to do everything by hand see you still think the lord is square okay look at all these carpenters now if those of you that work in the construction world the carpenters are strong you know the carpenters i mean they're not like you know like the, the toughest guys out there but they're th they're tough construction that's a man's job especially carpenters you know shake their hand and see if they have soft hands they all have scalp you know scallions you know their their hands you know because you know they got to deal with concrete rebar you know tools you know you got to strip the forms you got to form the, you know that's that's a manly job you know and in this world now now you got electric saws you got sawzalls you got even got shoot you even got uh, uh nail guns see back in the in the ancient world they didn't have none of that imagine that they had to cut everything imagine the saws by hand how many of you guys you know were out there working you know that those of you guys are in the construction world you know uh like your saw broke down and you had to cut a two by four by a hand saw you know imagine you had to cut one or two two just a two by four not even talking about a four by four how many of you guys had to cut a two by four with just a hand saw you know how hard that is you know imagine doing that all day every day that was the lord so you think still think the lord is just a square I'm telling you you know the lord he ain't no square you know he's all steer malachi chapter 3 verse 6 check this out malachi chapter 3 verse 6 for i am the lord yahweh i change not see because he hasn't changed he's still that ancient god that ancient man you know from the old world you know he ain't coming back with converse you know he ain't coming back with adidas like an adidas suit you know like the armenians you know they just wear like uh, puma jumpsuits you know in adidas and just smoke sick uh, cigars all day long drive around bmws you know and just put on baby powder no man you think the lord's coming back in an adidas jumpsuit heck no you know the lord's all steer facts malachi chapter 3 verse 6 those heathens are something else huh you know those armenians you know they just talk crap all day you know with uh you know adidas jumpsuits and puma jumps what's up with those what's up with they love those puma suits huh you know they wear like adidas with those puma jumpsuits or adidas jumpsuits smoking uh, cigarettes and cigars all day driving around mercedes and bmws you know they walk around like a tony montana you know it's a trip but but hey uh don't get it twisted some of those armenians they are jakes there are people you know facts you know they are they are absolutely you know some of our armenians they are uh they're israelites oh yeah also the sicilians you know the scottish oh yeah absolutely 
Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 For I am the Lord, Yehovah Bashim Yahweh I change not. So he's still that ancient man, that ancient God. He hasn't changed. It's because, you know, it got a little modern down here. It, it hasn't got modern up there. It's the same. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob, uh oh, ye sons of Jacob, the 12 tribes, 12 sons of Jacob are not consumed because the Lord is still with us. See that? All right, so, uh, oh, let me get one. Uh, I'm going to exit here. I got one picture to show you guys here. Let's see. Roll it. Right here, bam. Check this out. I had to get this scripture. And I wanted to show you guys because okay, right here on uh right here, this is the blue letter Bible. But the reason why I wanted to um get this scripture, but to sh actually show you, this is Exodus tra chapter 23, verse 13. Okay, on the left side of your screen, that's the King James version, and on the right on the right side of your screen is the NLT version. Okay. So right here, why I wanted to show you that, because you have both right here, you know, inst instead of me just uh, reading off, you know, like from the my Bible here, I wanted to actually show you because look, this is how important it is. So this goes out to you two thirds out there, you know, who believe in like idols and stuff like that, witches and warlocks. The Lord is telling you, turn back, you know, you're, turn you're choosing to be that way, you know. If, uh, you know, if you're a witch or warlock before and, you know, you're trying to put it off. You know, you're trying to do good. You know, you're trying to do your best. And, hey, you know, uh, then, hey, because, you you know, you're trying to turn back. And we all come from different backgrounds, you know. So the Lord knows if you're trying. Like, hey, you know what? I did that before, but I'm trying now, you know. Because there's a lot of people, witches and warlocks, that have repented. And they turn back from it, you know. Oh, absolutely. You know, so if you're out there and you're, like, trying, then, hey, man, you're trying, you know. If you're trying, if you're seeking the Lord, then shalom to you, you know. Because, hey, none of us are perfect. You see, but if you're being out there being a straight demon, then forget you, you know, check this out. Oh, here we go. Um, Exodus chapter 23, verse 13. We'll read the King James version first, and then we'll read the NLT version on the right. All right. So, which is the new translation? Exodus 23 and 13. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect. So, you know, you have to be vigilant, you know, what, look around and make no mention of the name of other gods. So, you know, Satan, Bafflement, Molech, Baal, you know, whatever, these idols, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So the Lord says you're not even supposed to be speaking about these other, uh, you know, gods and uh, idols. You know, that's why for me, like myself, you know, I don't even, I don't even look up, you know, before... I first learned about, you know, that, you know, you know, the, you know, Illuminati and the, you know, Bohemian Grove and all that crap. But, you know, I don't put too much thought into that. You know, I don't care. Like, oh, look, they're doing these rituals. And yeah, I know that, you know, they do baby sacrifice and all that. But I'm not over here trying to get all detail and be all Mr. Detective, you know, because the Lord says don't even mention them. You know, they're the wicked. They're going to be the wicked, you know. So I'm not curious. Like, well, let me see how they do this. And, you know, hey, let me see this right here. You know, let me check it out real quick. Nah, you know. I don't give a damn about them. See? So, check out the NLT version. Exodus chapter 23, verse 13. Check this out. This is the Lord speaking, you know? Pay close attention to to all my instructions. So, the Lord's saying, this is his instructions. You must not. The NLT is, hey, the NLT is on point. Because it's like, it's cold, you know? It's raw. No chaser. You know, it's straight up. Look. You must not call on the name of any other gods. Do not even speak of their names. See? So you're not even supposed to be talking about it, you know? See? Do not even speak about it because the Lord is a jealous power. So how many so how much worse the Lord's saying you're not even supposed to be speaking about it. So don't even, you know, don't even look at look at you know what they're doing, you know? I mean you may uh, research a little bit, find out a little bit, but don't be all like, you know, like, you know, heavily into that, you know, just don't even worry about it. You know? So so check this out. If the Lord's saying you must not call on on the name of any other gods, do not even speak of their names. So the Lord's telling us don't even speak about their names. So how many more, how much, how much worse is it for you guys, you two thirds that are actually worshiping Satan and bafflement? You're going to hell off. The Lord's saying you're not even supposed to be speaking about them. Now, how many of you that are actually worshiping them? You know, you guys are having orgies and stuff, sacrificing uh, people and babies, actually, you know, doing stuff. 
you're out of there, Jack. You know, it's, hey, don't hate us. The Lord's telling you. You know, so how many, if you guys are actually bowing down to Satan and Esau and the dollar bill, because a lot of you out there that are wicked, you guys actually worship money, you know? That's another one of your idols is uh, money, you know? Uh, the so-called white man, oh, absolutely, you know, he's a lot of uh, your guys' master, you know, you can't say it's not true, you know, go go ahead and try to tell the black woman that uh, the so-called white man can't make it, you know, she'll fight you, she'll defend him, facts, you know, go ahead, you know, try it, you know, go ahead, try to tell the black woman that, that the Lord is, uh, that the Lord is not a so-called white man that does, does not look like Caesar Borgia, you know, that he looks like a so-called black man. She'll fight you, you know? Facts. She says, oh, not my Jesus. I love Jesus, you know? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go try to tell her, you know? Go ahead and try to tell Big Shirley that the Lord don't look like a so-called white man. She'll fight you, you know? She'll put him up, you know? She'll take you all back. <laughs> Facts, you know? Facts. Not the so-called black, black women that believe in the Lord. You know, I'm talking about the non-believers. You know, because they really worship the so-called white man. Facts. You know? But uh, that's pretty much it on today's lesson. To just let you know out there that the, uh, you know, that the Lord has not changed. Okay? The Lord is the same. He's all steer. He's an all steer man. Okay? From the ancient world. You know, he's coming back. He's, oh, you know what? Let's, uh, you know what? I can't, I got to get, uh, I got to get Second Thessalonians real quick. Just to show you too that the, the angels are not no little so-called naked white babies. That's another indicator to show you that these Edomites are pedophiles. You know, they do rape and, and they molest little children, you know. That's why there's child trafficking and all that. Where do you think all that? That's going somewhere. Another thing about uh, Ukraine that a lot of people don't know is that Ukraine is like the second biggest country in the world that's known for uh, human trafficking child trafficking you know and a lot of people don't know that that's why a lot of you they put right here in america hey stand for ukraine let's help them you know of course there's good people casualties of course families that are, are getting affected out there you know but you know you don't even know you know what's going on out there you know they're heavy and so child trafficking human trafficking facts you know how many of you guys knew that you know they're like number two like in the whole world they're up there, you know? See, you don't, and a lot of you that are not in the know, you just think, oh, yeah, poor Ukraine, you know, Russia's just bombing the hell out of them. Okay, yeah, but it's also a judgment from the Lord because, of course, there is, you know, innocent men, women and children, you know, there's there's casualties of war always, you know, innocent bystanders. But, you know, do you even know what Ukraine's even known for, you know, on the black market? See? You know, the Lord, the Lord knows deep. He knows deep thoughts. He knows, you know, if the CIA, FBI know, Shoot, you don't think the Lord don't know? Come on. Hey, let's not play games. Huh? Oh, yeah. So that's there's a lot of stuff going on out there, you know, that the world don't even know. See? So right here, Second Thessalonians. Let's, let's get it real quick. 1537. All right. Here. Let me go to see here. So... Second Thessalonians chapter one verse seven. I'll go straight to the point. Second Thessalonians chapter one verse seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. So rest with the believers, you know. Get out of that, you know. I mean, we all come from uh of course, uh different backgrounds. You know, there is even uh brothers that even came from the uh the the Marines, the US military and all that, you know. Different brothers actually came out from, uh, you know, rough, rough neighborhoods. There's different walks of life, you know. But uh, the Lord's saying to you who are troubled, rest for us. So don't be ashamed, you know, if, you know, you're a member, if you were a, a witch before or if you're even like in, a, you know, uh, gangs before, you know, we all come from different walks of life. You know, facts. When the Lord, Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. It says mighty there. It doesn't say little babies with no clothes on. See? Because the white man is, is, is uh, the Edomites are pedophiles. You know? Look what they're finding in those synagogues underneath those, uh, in those tunnels, underneath the small hats churches. Those are, those are the chief Edomites who run the world. 
And what do they have? They found uh, there was children down there. They molest children, you know? Facts, but now the world is seeing what they're doing, you know? Because nobody's perfect, but these dudes are actually wicked. They actually kill and, and, and great children. Imagine, you know, they actually do that, you know? Facts. You know, and that's just, uh, you know, uh, something just to, for you believers out there, you know, it doesn't matter your walk of life. Remember, it doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter if you come, what, what background you came from, you know, you know, don't be discouraged. There's nothing to be ashamed about. You know, we, we're all coming out of, uh, out of sin, you know, and we're still sinning, you know, and remember we're in captivity, you know, so we all are being oppressed. You know, we all come from different walks of life. You know, I, myself, here's just a little story. Um, I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, when I came out of, uh, you know, uh, you know, when I finished, you know, high school, I, uh, I got my, uh, I got my GED. Okay. And when I was 18, you know, just to let you know, I tried, you know, I tried to join the U S Marines, you know, I was ready, you know, I was in shape in those days, you know, and I tried to join, I called, you know, the, uh, online, you know, I signed up for the U S Marines and then the Sergeant. All right. The sergeant, he called me, you know, and he's like, yeah, man, this is a, you know, sergeant, you know, I forgot his name. It's like, you know, so-and-so. And he was just telling me, all right, well, I'm just gonna ask you little questions, you know? And I didn't know, like, cause you know, you know, like the, the army, they had like the army reserves and stuff like that. And, you know, and I was ready, you know, cause I was ready for war. And, uh, I, I told the sergeant, you know, he called me, he goes, well, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions and this and that. It's all right, cool. You know? And then, uh, he told me, yeah, this and that, you know, where you from? And then he said, uh, do you have tattoos? And those of you that don't really uh, know me, I have, you know, a few tattoos. And I said, yeah, you know, I do. I do have a few tattoos, you know. But I said, but nah, they're not nothing that's, you know, that's, you know, gang related or nothing like that. They're just art, you know. And then he's like, uh, well, you have them on your arm, you know, like your, like your forearm and stuff. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, well, fortunately, you know, we don't, we, don't, we can't have that here, you know. And I didn't know that. And then I, I remember telling him before that, I told him like, well, hey, because uh, I didn't know the Marines. They just, you know, they're just the Marines, you know. They're like, you know, the front, the front, front liners, you know? So I told him, Hey, you know, I don't want to be on the arm, uh, the Marine reserves. I want to be like on the, you know, I'm ready to go. You know, I want to go to like the, you know, the Marines, like the front, the front line, you know? And he told me, yeah, that's what we do. You know? And I was like, Oh snap. You know, I told him, Oh my bad. You know, cause you know, like the army, they had the army reserves and they had the army. So that's why I told him, I told him, no, I don't want to be no part of no reserve. You know, I want to be, I want to be in it. You know, I want to be in the front. And he told me, Oh no, but that's, he goes, that's what we do here. And he, I was like, Oh, all right. You know? So that's just a little story to show you that, uh, you know, uh, I actually tried, you know, I tried, but I had the, uh, you know, the few tattoos there, you know, they're not uh, gang related or nothing. It's just, you know, a few art, but he was like, nah, he goes, oh, you can check out, you know, he goes, uh, you can try the army, you know, but in that day, you know, I was young and, you know, you know, young and thirsty, you know, I was like, oh, you know, like, nah, that's okay. You know, it's, I, if I can't be in the Marines, then I don't really want to go, you know, cause I wanted to be part of. Not to say nothing bad about the army at all. It's just that, you know, I was just like, oh, I wanted to be in the Marines, you know? And then he goes, oh, but you can check out the army. You know, they might accept you. And know? I was like, okay, you know, that's cool. Like, I didn't get offended by that. Hey, you know, it's pro, you know, rules are rules, you know? You got to respect that, you know? It's, hey, that's our protocol. But uh, that's just to, you know, let you know out there, you know, that we all come from different walks of life. We have different uh, prophets out there and GMS that were actually in the Marines and, and military and stuff like that, you know? So it's not like, you know, uh, you know, the prophets come from different walks of life, you know, absolutely. You know, just to uh, let you know out there, remember, just because you're in the military and specifically the, the U.S. military, because you guys hear a lot, you know, like Babylon's going to be destroyed. The Lord's going to destroy the army, the U.S. army, you know, and all that. But remember, if you're part of the hopeful elect and you're in the army, uh, you, you're, you're in good hands. You know, it don't matter. You know, because you're being a soldier, you're following orders, you know, you're not making these decisions around the world to, you know, to do all this uh, bad stuff, you know. And that's just uh, another com to comfort you out there because uh, I don't hear that too much out there because uh, the Lord, the, the hopeful elect are scattered everywhere. It's just to give you that comfort out there that, you know, uh, you're all right, you know. Don't, you know, have your head down like, damn, you know, I'm in the American military. Does that mean that I'm through? No, you know, uh Remember uh, Cornelius? He was a Roman centurion. You know, he was in the Roman army, but he was an Israelite. See, the Lord protected him. Same thing with those of you in the American military, whether, you know, Navy SEALs or, you know, they had their different branches, you know, Navy or Army or Marines. If you're in there, you know, don't have your head down. You know, the Lord, he will save you. 
he will protect you, you know. Absolutely, you know, facts, you know. And the Lord, let me tell you, uh, give you guys a little golden nugget. Yahweh Shai, he likes soldiers, you know, and so do I. You know, that the Lord, he likes that because there's order, you know. Some, that's something about our Lord and Savior. He likes soldiers, you know. Like, he likes, you know, it's kind of like, hey, like, yeah, I like football, you know. Like, yeah, I like basketball. The Lord, he likes soldiers, you know, because the Lord's a man of war. Exodus 15 and 3. It's just to let you know out there, you know, a little insider that the Lord, he likes, he likes soldiers, you know, like he likes, because he likes war, you know, just like, you know, some people, they say, okay, yeah, I like going to garage sales, I like sports, you know, the Lord, he likes, he likes war, he likes army, he likes soldiers, you know, because you're, you're in order, you know, you're clean, you're responsible, you know, you can kill if need, you can kill if need be, you know, oh, absolutely, you know, the Lord, he's, you know, he's, the Lord's a man of war, so he likes that, you know, you know, I'm not putting none of you guys down out there saying, oh, if you're not, if you're not a soldier, the Lord's not going to deal with you. It's just saying like, you know, what the Lord likes, you know, once again, because uh, people love and they hate, just like you have a favorite food. Like, hey, I like that food. Hey, I hate uh, spicy food or I, I don't like Chinese food. I'm not saying me. It's just like reference, just like the Lord. The Lord, he, certain things he likes, you know, uh, and he likes, he likes soldiers, you know, he likes that. Yeah, facts. Just a little insider, just so you can get to know our Lord, our Lord and Savior, you know? Not saying that he's going to look down at you if you're not a soldier, but he, he likes that, you know? That's just something that he likes. Like, yeah, you know? Like, that. the Lord looks down, like, yo. He looks down, you know, in the world, like, yo, that's what's up, you know? It's just something like that, you know? It's not like, you know, uh, you know, put your head down or, or, you know, boast, but that's the Lord, he likes that. It's just so you get to kind of uh, get to know our Lord a little bit more, you know? And he's an Israelite. You know, our Lord has flavor, you know, just like you Israelites out there. You know, you guys are the best at sports. You're the best workers, you know, the best lovers, everything. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, what do you think our Lord is? You know, we're just like the Lord. He's like us. Same thing, you know. That's why the kingdom of heaven is going to be awesome, you know. Oh, absolutely. So with that, Lord willing, the hopeful elect were edified. You know, the Lord is the same. He hasn't changed. On your feet, soldier. Shalom.